Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've never been here before, thanks for stopping by. If you have been on this channel before, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it more than you guys even know. Today I've got kind of an exciting video. I'm doing it a little bit differently. Usually I kind of do the intro and tell you what I'm gonna do and then I go do it. This time I've actually already shot the photo shoot. We did it last week and now I'm bringing it all together in this video. But I'm kind of excited about this one. Now, a little while back, I introduced an ongoing project idea that I had where I wanted to photograph YouTubers whose channels I enjoyed watching. Now, it didn't necessarily have to be a photographer or a videographer or anybody in the art field necessarily, just somebody that I enjoyed watching their channel. I wanted to get together with them, take their portrait, and make a video out of it. Now, I started with Tim and Donna Avery of Visual Testaments. They're good friends of my wife and I. They run a ministry and they go all over the country, at least at the time they were traveling all over the country, ministering, doing different things. And I introduced their channel to you and did their portrait. So in this video, I'm gonna continue the series photographing YouTubers and this time it's a YouTuber who is near and dear to my heart and that is my wife, Amy. Yep, my wife, Amy, has her own YouTube channel. She calls it Miss Amy Reads. Her full-time job is a kindergarten teaching assistant where she has started reading to the kids in class. And so she carried that over into a YouTube channel where she reads books to kids. She's very, very good at it. So I photographed my wife, Miss Amy. Here's the intro to her channel. And then I'll show you the photo shoot. One of the things that I thought would be compelling about a series like this is that every photo shoot would have its own challenges. Maybe it's a time constraint thing. Maybe it's a location constraint thing. It could be a lot of different things that make each photo shoot unique and interesting. So what would be compelling is not only the people that I'm photographing, but the challenges and how I overcome it. So hopefully I could share that with you guys. And in this photo shoot of my wife, I certainly had some challenges. Now, they were not the challenges that I thought they were going to be. The big challenge that I thought I was going to have was that I was photographing my wife. Amy knows everything that I can do with a camera. She's going to be uh, particular about the way she looks, and she's not going to have any problem telling me I don't like this shot. So I figured that I would have the big challenge of coming up with a photograph that she was happy with. That wasn't really the challenge. What ended up being my biggest challenge was the lighting. I went into it thinking I was going to light it with a strobe and I ended up putting a scrim in front of my strobe and even with that the lighting was too harsh. I'll show you that first shot right here and it just didn't look soft and pretty and lighting that would match who Miss Amy is. I needed to light her a little softer and as I was putting the lights together the light that was coming through the window alone looked pretty good. So what I ended up doing was just running with the window light and I had a backlight that gave a little bit of an accent light on her hair. So I had one strobe, but the main light was coming from the window behind me, which is almost never how I would do something in a controlled situation like that. But it was working, so I went with it. I think the results turned out pretty good. Now, like I said, I don't normally light things with big open window light like that, especially right behind me. There's not a lot of direction to it. I like to have a little bit of direction to my lighting that can create some dimension and some depth to the image. And this was just flat, but it was soft and it was, it, it worked. So Amy gave me the thumbs up. She looked at it, it looked good. One challenge I had with that was the color of the light coming through there was a little on the green side, which I did fix in post, obviously. I wasn't gonna leave her green. Um, I probably should have custom white balanced that, but I didn't at the time. I was just, you know, rolling with it. It was a fairly easy fix in Photoshop, so it wasn't a big deal, but the lighting was the biggest challenge, you know, and it sent me down a different direction. So if, if I learned anything, it, it's to always be willing to make the change and what's working, run with it. 
Now I went into the photo shoot knowing because it was my wife, because I knew I had the time and that she would work with me, I wanted to do two photographs. I didn't want to do just one like I did with Tim and Donna. I wanted to do at least two. So we did the headshot, which I think turned out really well. I'll show you that here. Here's the final image after the retouching, which I didn't do a ton, but I, you know, I, like I said, I corrected the color. I did a little bit of skin and did some little simple stuff. But there's the final shot of the headshot. And then I also did a full length, more environmental kind of thing. And that was a lot of fun too, because we got our dog involved with it. Uh, Pepper ends up showing up in uh, my wife's channel occasionally. She'll walk through the background. Uh, and it's not planned, but Pepper is often in her videos. So we threw her into that shot as well. And that put a little bit of a challenge because she wanted to sit in one place where I needed her to sit in another place. And eventually she got it and you know lo looked fabulous and made for a great shot. So shot number two was a lot of fun as well. And I think the whole thing was great success. My wife's happy with it, which that's... That was the big challenge at the beginning. I just thought if, if she's happy with the images, then they turned out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think, things you would have changed, uh, but I love to hear the comments. So let me know what you think of these images. <laughs>